it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and I just got in the MacBook Pro M2, and I threw this video together because I want to show you the results, and I think you're going to be very surprised. So physically, when you see this computer, it is identical to the uh, M1 version. It's really what's under the hood. It's really just the processor. And as you see here, this is the MacBook Pro 13-inch M2 2022 edition, and that's what it looks like, what it says on the back of the computer, what it comes with. And so here's what I'm going to compare it against. These are both base models. On the left, you have the M1 Mac Mini. And on the right, you have the MacBook Pro M2. And this is 8K video straight from the Canon R5C. And this is a fantastic test because the um, M1 Mac Mini kind of struggles with this. So here we are playing it back. This is better performance. And um, it seems to be doing a slightly better job um, with playing it back. I would say they're fairly close, but I would say the M2 has the edge. Okay, so let's go to better performance. And I kind of scrubbed this around the timeline a little bit. And I did notice that it did kind of drop and slow down. So really, if you want to see your video in full resolution, well, I have to report that the uh, M2 MacBook Pro, or even I would say the unreleased or not yet to be released a MacBook Air, which is gonna be similar to this unit. Actually, this should be the better unit because it does have the internal fan, which I've never seen it come on while I've used it. And um, here's some full screen playback. And really, I was, I gotta tell you, just at this part of the test, I was very disappointed. I was really hoping that it was gonna perform a lot better. Now, you have to understand that this computer has just come out and, you know, Apple does do tweaks to the software, but the software is completely up to date. So, and this is a release unit. I just bought this on release day or actually got it delivered. And so you would think it would be performing at its best. But um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how fast it can export um, this. And um, let's go ahead and do it. Now I gotta tell you, as this was moving along, I know that the Mac Mini, which we will see in a minute, uh, can export a clip like this pretty fast. It doesn't take close to 10 minutes. It took 10 minutes for it to export uh, this little two minute clip. And right away, I was like, oh my God, this is just, this is ridiculous. This thing is very disappointing. So it plays back the clip at once it's rendered in ProRes. It looks great. From here now, we are looking at, this is the M1 Mac Mini. And um, I'm just gonna kind of let the video play here a little bit. And it, it, it plays back pretty good. I, you know, I have to say they're very close. From what I see right now, unless there's some miracles that happen with software updates, I, I, I'm, I'm not buying it. I don't think that, first of all, if you asked me, Mark, would, should you buy one of these M2s after just testing this for video, I would say absolutely not, that the uh, M1 Pro models and the M1 Max are far superior. Um, I really don't think that this is that much of an improvement. But let's go ahead and do the export test. So here we go. And let's go ahead and speed this up. And I think you're gonna be very surprised. It looks like it's gonna finish in about two minutes, a little over two minutes and 40 some odd seconds. So for whatever reason, the original base M1 Mac Mini is considerably faster. And like I said, I don't know if there's gonna be improvements with software updates, but you know, I bought this on release day and I am not impressed at all. I am not keeping this. I'm gonna run many more tests with it. Um, the next test to be sure to come back and check out my channel will be, I'm gonna do some 4K 10-bit footage uh, from the Sony A7S Mark III. Um, at the highest bitrate setting. So I think that should be really exciting. And as I said before, um, identically on the outside, this looks just like uh, the previous MacBook Pro. Uh, there's, I don't see any difference if I'm missing something, but it looks identical. I think it's just really what's in the inside. So next month, I will be getting the MacBook Airs with the M2, 
but the inside of this new MacBook Pro is identical to what you would have with those computers. Actually, this one's a little bit faster because this one features the eight core CPU and 10 core GPU. The base model has an eight core GPU. So this one is faster. Guys, I hope you enjoy what you see here. Be sure to check back with my channel for more tests. And if you like what you see, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Thank you.